Good morning, guys. This is a story of a girl who's just trying to have a waist bead. Started with my waist bead in 2019. Because 2020 were on the quarantine. Or was it 2020? I don't remember. I'm going to say 2019. Yeah. Oh, I've had this over a year. Okay, so 2019, um, I got a waist bead, the first one, and that was because someone who I used to exercise with, I saw them with it, I asked them the benefits. It basically helps with your waist. It basically helps you track your progress on weight loss. And it's like, it's cute so like you wear it with certain outfits and it just makes your outfit pop so yeah that's why i like it so much <clears throat> i had the first one and it popped and shed a little tear because it was so cute i got a second one made the first one was at 45 inches and i got a second one made at 42 inches so three inches less in about a month difference then I had the second one made at 42 inches had that one going for quite some time because last year we were on a COVID so I didn't get to last year which means this year would have made two years since I've had it now follow me here people follow me here this morning at the gym I added 20 pounds to my leg presses i think that's the name of the machine yeah leg presses and you know feeling so proud of myself i've moved from barely being able to do 45 pounds going up 90 pounds going up 100 and something then reaching 200 then doing 220 then doing 230 then i was at 250 right 250 is well 230 would have been past my weight something like that so then I'm at 250 and I'm like, yeah, we can do this. Are we aiming for 300 this morning? Maybe not yet. I don't think we reached 300 pounds yet. But you know, we aim, we're going a little higher this morning, went to 70. Proud moment because on my leg presses, I did 270 yeah so now follow now after doing 270 big up myself yeah come a bus like baby kite i heard pop what just happened guys literally won't cry always be pop so guys this is going to be the journey of getting a new waist bead um so i'm going to call the lady her ig's waist bead came on i'll put it somewhere right here um and give this to her for her to make another one for me now follow me again because it was getting big and it was dropping down it got stuck in my tights and the pressure because I do this with as I said I've been increasing my weight so I do it all the time so I think the pressure from the 270 popped it so now we're going to go to down to about 39 inches um yeah so from 45 to 39 i think i should be able to get 39 or 39 and a half on the new waist bead that's coming so let's be prepared to see this go down to 39 and then it should stay up top which means it shouldn't move for a few months while i lose inches on my weights 
So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. So I just dropped off my waist bead and I'm going to get it back by Saturday, hopefully. But I just had to stop so that you guys can see this amazing view. East End is so beautiful. Oh, up that side is blue, 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 blue. Up that side is the blow holes. I'm hoping that the wave comes up. Like it's so pretty. I'm finally, finally, finally getting back my waist beat today. So she's on her way and I'm really excited to finally get it back. So when she comes, I will um, do a little interview-ish, like just ask her what's her name, her page, where can we find her, all of that. And I will try to vlog as much of the process as I can with putting it back on and I'll see if the style changes. If the style changes I'll do a before and after pick of what it looks like and yeah keep watching. Vlogging for my channel. Morning morning. Morning. Are you ready for me? Yes I am. Woot, woot. So tell me your name and where they can find you. Um the hell you see more and you can find me Waste Beads Cayman Instagram. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Let's see what the new one looks like. So I changed up the design for you. Okay. Something to bring you peace and prosperity, right? Yay! <coughs> I need some peace in my life. <laughs> <laughs> With the chaos of 2020? Yeah. You need this one to be better, right? Yes. Okay. So we weren't sure on the size. Yeah. So let's just wing it. Okay. All right, I'm just going to rest it on your car. Sure. Guys, she's giving me peace and prosperity. Oops, sorry. Oh, Let sorry. me hold it. Let me hold it. She's good. She's getting me peace and <laughs> prosperity, guys. Oh, child. This looks long. It is. So we're going high again? Yeah. So, guys, we're going high again above my belly. This pants used to be tight, and now mm -hmm. it's. So, how much are we taking off? When I oh. do it to here? Blue is my midpoint. How does this feel? You want it tighter? Yeah. A little bit. All right, let's do here. Come on, babies. Okay, bring it. One more hold on. Sure. See, multitasking. Okay. Bring it up, as in up, yeah. Oh, look how small I've gotten. This is probably like, I don't even know how much I've gone down to now. Compared to how we were before? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wanna pull this for me? I'm coming from like, what, 45, I think? Yeah. And now and we're down to- And this is barely a 39. Ooh, guys, you hear that? <laughs> Ooh. Get these clasps. This is usually the challenging part, right? Yep. Oh, you got this. Okay, man, son, come on, give me your brightness. Want me to turn? No, it's just these ones are thinner. Sorry, guys, it's usually not taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> I love your vlog. I've been tuned in. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right. Tell me how I can improve. I'm always working on Keep improving. Keep being yourself. 
if that I personality cells. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, what did she post today? What did I miss? <laughs> all right. That I can do. Feel snug? Yeah. the part I usually dread. So this is a permanent one. Yes. Because this doesn't have the screw to screw off. And that's just how I like it because if I take it off then I'm never going to put it back on <laughs> and I'm going to lose it. And then with this one it either goes up or down letting you know okay yeah you're bloating you're not bloating what's going on with your body. So I tend to prefer these ones. Especially since and then if you're gaining weight as well, like, your, let's not, yeah. your main focus is to know what your body's going on with without stepping on the scale per se, right? Yeah, because most people dread the scale. I know I'm a fan, but <laughs> that's just the way of life sometimes. Yeah, scales are horrible things. Yeah, and then they make you look down on yourself like you're not making the effort or progress, but that's not it. It's a daily challenge, so it is. Especially when you're gaining yeah, muscle yeah. and losing fat, and then mm -hmm. muscle is heavier than fat. Exactly. Like... So you're looking at it like, okay, so what's going on? Like, I'm putting in all of this effort, all of this work, eating better, and I'm gaining? No, what's wrong? Yeah. So, how does I this have feel, to, lovely? Yeah. yeah, that's good. Good? Yeah. Okay. I have to remind myself that you're gaining muscle. Mm -hmm. You're gaining muscle. I don't, I don't like to hear that because I still burn, but I want to see the scale go down. But it just now move. It's just a little shorter, so it's not stabbing. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and always tune in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.